Danil has been living with HIV since he was born. At 17, he became an activist and began fighting for the rights of young people. Since his diagnosis, he has faced discrimination. Because of my HIV status, I was not allowed to study at a medical college, although under law, I have the right to become a doctor, with the exception of becoming a surgeon or a dentist. Nevertheless, there is a student clinic in Kyiv, and the head doctor and his deputy believe that HIV-positive people cannot be doctors, because it's dangerous. They told me to dream of becoming something else. Danilo did not give up on his dream and went on to attend college. Activists say that there are many people who violate the rights of adolescents living with HIV. Doctors do not know how to communicate with them. We do not know how to open a discussion about the status of a teenager. And there are many children who do not know about their status. Children, migrants, half-orphans, orphans, they may also face discrimination in schools and hospitals. Civil society activists have created a network in order to help young people living with HIV fight for their rights. In general, any person can be a paralegal, but we focus on teenagers, because our network operates on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. There are many teenagers who are shy of their status or afraid to contact adults with their problems. One of the project participants is 18-year-old Artem. He is studying to be a lawyer. He has already undergone training and can now provide legal assistance. There are certain cases compiled by lawyers with certain situations. There are instructions on how to assist teenagers pointing them in the right direction. There is a list of rights that are currently most often violated, and an explanation of exactly how we can help them. Activists plan to expand their network in the near future. Currently, the network is operational in Kyiv, Poltava, Kriviri, Rivne and Mykolaiv. Reported by Yulia Kryczkova, UATV.